and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Saturn. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the realities of actually breeding chinchillas. Now, breeding chinchillas is incredibly rewarding. You might think to yourself when you see chinchilla kits online, oh, I really want to do that as well. They look so cute and cuddly, you know, little fluff balls running around. But there are some really, really harsh realities of breeding chinchillas. And it almost makes me want to stop sometimes. And I'll go through them now. So the first reality is that it is dangerous. Male and female chinchillas can actually turn on one another and can, if they fight, cause each other serious injury or potentially even death. Now, luckily enough, I've not had this experience with my chinchillas because I'm pretty good at assessing body language and the way they're behaving to see whether they're getting along or not. And if I think they're not getting along, I separate them straight away before there's any serious injuries occurring. But it can happen and it has happened to breeders in the past where they've had chinchillas that have been together and they've come in one morning and one of the chinchillas is either seriously injured or in fact dead so it does happen from time to time so it's something you have to think about when you're pairing chinchillas up now it is risky and it's risky for the female chinchilla pregnancy and childbirth is probably the most dangerous thing a female animal can ever go through in their entire lives and things can and do go wrong and when things go wrong, it can turn serious extremely quickly. And it's not uncommon for chinchillas to die through childbirth. Now, what can go wrong? Kits can be breached, kits can be too big and they can get stuck. Kits can be born dead. Kits can be stuck inside the female. You may need a C-section for the, for the chinchilla there's so many so many things that can go wrong so you have to be prepared for that eventuality so this really touches on the last the last reason and this is that it can be heartbreaking kids can be born dead and they can be born and only live a few hours they can be born half formed they can be born mummified there's a whole load of things that can happen around 25 to 30 percent of the babies born normally don't survive it's a harsh reality of breeding chinchillas is the fact that you are going to have that mortality rate and it can be heartbreaking the next one is that it is incredibly tiring if you breed chinchillas, you have to be prepared that you may need to hand feed those chinchilla babies. If the chinchilla's mum is ill, or if the, there's not enough milk production, say the, the chinchilla's had a large litter and there's not enough milk production, and there's no foster mums to, to take on the kits, then you have to be prepared to jump in there and do it yourself, so you have to hand feed them. Now this means feeding the chinchilla kits every two hours to begin with. And that is around the clock, so day and night, so you don't get a lot of sleep. It's basically like having a newborn baby. And it can be incredibly tiring. And if you've got a full-time job to hold down as well, that can be an issue. With me, it's not an issue because I don't work full-time and the hours I work um, complement my husband. So if I'm not around, my husband can actually feed them. So... But it is something that you do have to consider. It may never happen to you. It may never get to the point where you have to hand feed a chinchilla. But you always have to be prepared that you may have to do it. And it is incredibly tiring when you do have to. So it's hard work. When you're breeding chinchillas, you really do require quite a large herd of chinchillas because you need to have a wide selection of animals available so that you can select the best pairing that complements each other so that you can improve the quality of the chinchillas going forward. The babies ideally should be better quality than the parents, so you're always improving, improving, improving. So that 
because you need quite a lot of chinchillas, it is extremely hard work. They all need cleaning out, they all need feeding, they all need water, they all need dust baths, they all need exercise. It is incredibly hard work. It's very, very rewarding to look after animals, but it is it is incredibly hard work and you have to face the reality of do you want to be spending a good part of your day just looking after chinchillas if that's like yes that's what I want to do then great but it is a reality of the fact that you don't really have much of a life if you, if you breed chinchillas you really don't so it is expensive and when I mean it's expensive I mean it is expensive. If you think you're going to make money breeding chinchillas, you're probably not. Not if you're doing it correctly. Now, and it's not just the daily expenditures like food, hay, dust, toys for enrichment, cage maintenance, new cages, wood for them. All this type of stuff all costs money, obviously. But then you've got the really, really expensive thing, which is a vet bills. And you always have to be prepared. I have come out saved away for vet bills because they can rack up pretty quickly. Um, especially if you have a chinchilla that has trouble during childbirth and they need a C-section. That can go into hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. And every single one of your chinchillas could potentially become ill, in which case they need to go to the vet. And it can get very, very pricey. There's only a few years where I've actually broken even making breeding chinchillas. Most years I do actually make a slight loss or it's, it's just basically breaking even. I don't really make a profit at all from it. If you're considering breeding chinchillas, there's one question you need to ask yourself before you start breeding and that is why do you want to breed chinchillas if you're being entirely honest with yourself and it is to make money then i would say don't bother breeding chinchillas because the reality is you're not really going to make any money you might make a slight profit but it, it won't be anything to write home about and it's just not worth the risks involved in breeding them in the first place if your reason for breeding chinchillas is that you just want cute little babies, then again, that's probably not a great reason to breed them. Um, you're better off just looking at chinchilla, baby chinchillas online rather than actually going through the whole process of breeding. If it is to like improve a chinchilla line, then that, that is a good, re good reason because you're actually you're improving the quality of the chinchillas. You're not downgrading the chinchillas, you're improving the chinchillas. So that, that's an okay reason to breed. Um, but if you're going to start breeding and you're breeding for that reason, I would suggest getting in touch with a show breeder and actually finding out what the qualities are they like to have in their chinchillas and what a quality chinchilla looks like. So you know what to strive for really. If it wasn't rewarding, I wouldn't do it. So it is rewarding, but it's just there are some really, really harsh realities when you breed chinchillas. And although I love them, I love them to bits, yeah, there, there are some downsides that sometimes make you think, oh my gosh, is this all really worth it? But it always is worth it in the end. <laughs>